What's up guys? <clears throat> so this is a video about a lens lawless generator. I saw a lens lawless generator on the internet and I thought it was pretty interesting. You can google it. Lens lawless generator. I don't know the guy's name who uh, originally did it. But I wanted to redesign it in a new fashion. So I drew it up on Google SketchUp and then I built it. Uh, I didn't build it exactly the way I sketched it up. I did it so I could play and test. And I found out that you can't really pull a lot of current out of the coils even though it does make electricity with basically no drag or no lens effect. Um, there's lots of issues with it, but I built it and wanted to show you. Here is the diagram. Um, as you can see here, this would be the whole generator as a whole. This is what it would look like. There are ring magnets right here. And then there are plates right here. They go in between the ring magnets. And then there are coils here. So you have a magnet, plates, and a coil. Now these plates are offset. This one and this one are offset. That's so that you can have the magnetic flux go into this side of the coil while it's being blocked from this side of the coil. Now the original maker of this type of device uses steel for their plates. For these plates right here. I am using mu metal, which is actually a shielding material, which I thought would be much more efficient to actually shield the magnetic flux instead of just draw it away. Now you have a coil in the center, plates rotating in between the ring magnets on each side here, and the uh, coil has a core. Um, on the end of this particular model, I put a brass weight to help it along. Once you get it up to momentum, you can just kind of pulse it to keep it going. This, uh, this shaft right here is actually a input shaft. You actually have to rotate this device. It doesn't rotate itself. Um, here you can see a breakdown. This is a, I believe, a 8 coil model. And then I made a 4 coil model over here. And this is the breakdown. So basically, here's what you have. You have an end plate. Here you have an end plate that holds everything together. You have a, uh, a plastic deal with a with a bearing in it. Then you have a, a metal plate, which doesn't have to be metal. Uh, it's just what I have to use. Two ring magnets stuck together. Again, that's just what I have. And these are this is another different thing that I wanted to try out. These are little steel cores that go on the surface of this magnet. This plate holds them in place. Okay, and what that does is it concentrates the flux into one area. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, and I have not tried it yet. That was part of my initial design. Uh, next, you have the the plates here. I am using what they call mu metal, the shielding material. And then you have a rotor that those sit on. Then you have this plate that holds the coils in place. Again, these coils have cores. If you guys watched my other video, you see I was making one of these coils. Okay. Again, this is just a design I had, and then you have the same thing all the way across the back side here, and then on the end you have a brass weight. Now, brass weight again is just for uh, like uh, inertia. Once you get it going, it's easy to keep going. I do not have a, a, a brass weight on my model. I did. I took it back off uh, just because I uh, the the shaft I'm using is too flimsy, has a hard time, starts to wobble. So anyway, this is a sketch up that I built. I built this whole thing on here, and uh, it will be in the description to download and look at at your own time. Google SketchUp is an awesome program. Go get it. Okay, so here it is. I built this on this extruded metal form so that I can move things around and try different coils. And uh, so basically, you have a, I have a plastic housing that holds a bearing, and then I have a plate, steel plate, which these ring magnets were already attached to. They came out of speakers. Then I have my mu metal plates. These plates are out of hard drives. Um, you can find them in hard drives. So it is actually mu metal. It is shielding material and it is really good, good shielding material. It is magnetic, so it I believe it causes issues that I did not want. But again, this is experimental motor. So basically, here on the other side you have the same thing. Plates on a rotor, magnets, and then uh, here I have an input motor. 
and it's just running on a little pulley system and it's a 12 volt motor at least that's what I'm putting into it 12 volts uh, this is set to AC if I spin this by hand you can see I'm getting about 5 volts 6 volts okay now just spinning it by hand just to show you that it does work and again these plates are are opposite of each other so when one hits the coil here the other side gets magnetic flux there then when this one hits here and shields the, this one gets magnetic flux these are north facing in I have some other ideas how to make this better but for now this is what I got and basically this coil is I believe 18 gauge uh, it could be 20 gauge and it is a lot of wire it's about 200 foot on a steel core well, you can see it. You see the steel core. Check the other video of me making this bobbin. And I did hand wrap this on here. Um, it turned out pretty well. So let's fire it up. This thing gets cruising. It's got a lot of speed. And uh, yeah, here we go. Still picking up a little speed, but uh, there you go. Probably about up to speed. You're looking at 2.5 volts, and uh, this thing's moving. I tell you, you can hear it. It's flying. So there you go. It does produce electricity. Now, what's interesting if I short this out, the uh, device actually picks up speed, which is proving to you that lens effect. He's, uh, he's in his system is interesting. Here, I'll shoot it out. Probably can't tell, but I did do the test, and it does pick up speed. Didn't really sound like it did it, but that's fine. I know it does. So, there you go. I just wanted to show you that I built this thing, and I tested it, and uh, I'm going to unhook it here. Basically, what I found out was the fact that it does create electricity, but it's doing it in such a manner that you can't pull a lot of amperage out of it. Once you start pulling amperage out of it, it, it doesn't really put out very much voltage. Um, that's all I got for you. Again, this is Russ, and Happy New Year. Signing off. Enjoy. Can't wait for New Year. Lots of cool things are going to happen. Peace.